stuck in a quick one, demoralised Nelson and just show him who's boss. So, but it seems rather an inconsistent way to have done it. Sort of bounced it up and down between quick and slow laps. Ready Arno then, completed another lap and he's on his 43rd. The gap is increasing, it's 7.2 seconds. There is Nelson Piquet who is in second position and he is, what, 42 seconds ahead of De Cesare who is uh, I can't say it's what, 20 seconds ahead of Patrese, who is in fourth position, who is 12 seconds ahead of Cross, who is fifth for dropping back, and Nicky Lauda, who is in sixth position, has been lapped. There's PK, second, and you can see how hard he's trying, and he's that, that his car is well and truly on fire now, that the turbo has gone in Nelson Piquet's car on lap 43, he's going to lose the six points, and he's going to have to stop very quickly and get out of that car fast. So there is Nelson Piquet parking his Brabham, he's spotted the trouble, he'll be out of this car like a, like a jackrabbit, because he's going up in the most gigantic ball of flame soon, and Nelson Piquet sprints away, looking at his back side to make sure he's not on fire, because he can obviously feel the heat, out comes the course fire car, and Nelson Piquet has gone out of the German Grand Prix for the second year in very dramatic circumstances, because last year he had his punch up with Salazar. Yeah, it's not terribly bad luck for Nelson, now I noticed that that marshal who was on the side of the track couldn't get his fire extinguisher working for quite some time, which is all right in that situation, but wouldn't have been so clever if there had been a drive, really. And that is a disgrace. And now the gods are really smiling on Alain Prost because the only man that was really close to him and left in the race in the World Championship, Nelson Piquet, has gone out under the most dramatic of circumstances. Rodianu enters the stadium in front of that massive German crowd for the 45th time on his way almost home to winning his second Grand Prix of the year to give himself nine championship points. Now, out of the last right-hander, the checker flag is ready indeed. Arnu approaches it, the Ferrari mechanics pour out onto the road, and Freddy Arnu takes the checker flag to win for the second time this year, and there is the young, explosive, volatile, unpredictable Italian, Andre de Cesare, in second place in the Euro Racing turbocharged V8 Alfa Romeo, and that will get the sales of the Alfa Romeo concern of mechanics up, because now the Cesare could push out the clutch and coast them, I mean, it looks as though that's just what he's doing, he's going incredibly slowly, and Andrew de Cesare is only just finishing this race, his engine's sounding incredibly rough, you can see how slow he's going, and that means to say that Ricardo Patrese has just missed second place, but there he is, coming home in third position. Another Italian, so it's a Frenchman, René Arnoux, that's one, an Italian de Cesare is second, another Italian, there he is, Ricardo Patrese, whose future of Brabham is in doubt. Anyway, Patrese finishes in third position. Nelson, first of all, if it's printable, your feelings? Well... I feel a little bit bad, but that's motor racing, I'm used to, I'm already doing motor racing for 10 years, I know these things can happen. You are astonishingly tolerant and good-humoured, and congratulations on that. Now tell me, were you trying for first, or were you content with second place? No, I was driving the best I could, because maybe, you know, no, you, you know motor racing, you can miss fire in the last lap, and I would like to get as close as possible to Anu. And uh, if, if something wrong with, uh, with his car, I could overtake him. We would never know. But uh, the, the wrong thing came in my car. I have a, a slight fuel leak in, a, in, a, in, a, in the fuel, fuel system, in, a, in the filter. And I got a fire, I got fire, and I have to stop very quickly. I said it was the turbo had gone. That was not true. No, 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 no. It was a very, very small leak in the fuel that uh, went, of course, over the engine, the spark plug and maybe got a big quantity there and a little bit of uh, electricity and the, the flame came very, very strong very quickly. You got out of the car very quickly and you rubbed your backside. Were you feeling the heat? Yeah, usually I have a, a two kind of oval, a very heavy one for the, for the hot days and a, and, a, and a very thin one for the, for the hot, oh, 
have one for the cold days and, and today was with the have one I was very lucky because I feel very very hot in my back well in spite of losing that second place it's your good fortune that Alain Prost was in trouble too you are now nine points behind in the world championship with five races to go feelings well on the top of that to have a uh, Manu now also together with us I think uh, well, that's another race, that's the championship. Uh, we have to, to do the best we can and the team do the best we can and uh, who knows, maybe I'll win the next five races. <laughs> well, it's nice to see you with a smile on your face. Well done, Nelson, and thank you. Thank you very much.